Okay, guys. We uh, we're in the bush again. Ian's on the bow. He's just pounding it up a pretty steep ridge. A couple of stags made some noise up here. They've uh, they've gone awfully quiet, but we're going to go coax them out of their beds. So it's about nine in the morning. So yeah, we should. Uh, Hopefully get up the top of this ridge and into a new, uh, whew, new little uh, area and throw some noise out and see what happens. See if Ian can plug something.
Let's do it. Deflection. Just blood trailing the stack. Starting to get on some good blood now. We were a bit concerned, so we gave him a bit of time. Oh, ripper. Oh, right. Talk about a roller coaster of emotions. So it came in in the worst possible spot, and I had the sun behind me, and it was in some thick stuff. And it came past, and I have one shot opportunity left, and I bled it and stopped it. And as I shot, my gut instinct was that it was good. And then we heard him move off, and then he started coming back in. You can hear it, eh? When the roared, he started coming when back. When he started coming back in, we just the doubt set in, and. I was just but what it, what it was, I think, is he just peeled round. And you can see how he started coming back, but yeah, it wasn't oh, from the roar. Yeah, it sounded like but it. But what happened is, I sit there going, maybe it's back. So I'm a big believer if you can get another arrow on him, but the bush is just so noisy. So we forced ourselves to sit there for half an hour. Yeah. And everything in me wants to go and look for it. I want to get a second arrow on it. And we came down and there was no blood and we snuck and ninja into where we thought he'd bedded. And then we just started hitting good blood and he's only made it. Not even 40 metres. If he's lucky. Um, yeah, so you can see what he's all about. Looks like it was definitely a, a better shot than we thought. You can see on that on that um <laughs> On the film, you can actually see and hear the deflection, but it's just, it's only clipped something just in front of him. Um, you'll, obviously, you'll see in the film too, like, how thick it was. He's um, quite, he's smaller than he's, uh, No, nah, he's, he had some ground shrinkage, a little bit of ground shrinkage, but I said he was missing a tine, I was right. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, We're on the board. I mean... Got some cool colour in them too. Yeah. Um, all right, we need to drag him out for a, see what he's all about. And it's just oh. where he died too. Is that uh, is just a roller coaster of emotions. That one. He's big bodied. See if we get a bit closer here, guys. Oh. Wow. So we didn't hear him crash. He just probably slid. Wow. Oh, wicked. So he's a twelve. Very cool. Snapped off time, fighting. Yeah. So I said, looked like he was missing a time. Yeah, so he's a cool looking animal. Definitely my biggest rib with the bow boy. Yeah, by, by a long shot. So yeah, well, Ooh, it's so bloody steep here, so I can't even stand up. Um, we're going to have to try well, and... We can go straight to the creek, and then out the creek, because the creek crosses the track anyway. Isn't it? Oh, it's pretty choice. All right, well, we need to get some photos, so we need to uh, drag him out. Um, well, we'll just put this on hold for a second, guys. That, that's a relief. Like, you start to doubt everything. It's like I said, the initial gut feeling was it was good. Yeah. I turned to you and I was like, I think it was good. Like, it felt good. But then the doubt just sets in. <laughs> and it wasn't until we found that good blood clot at, like, 20 metres down, 15 metres down. And then he wasn't far from there. Yeah, no, it was... Um... Oh, <sighs> mate. This will wreck me before I get old. This is bad for the heart. <laughs> yeah. But stoked. He came in, came in perfectly. I mean, I put it down to the guy behind the roaring horn, because <clears throat> um, you know, yeah. some someone was mocking me the day before on uh, on the face stalk and giving me a bit of a wind up about my roaring didn't work from last time. And the first day we got onto, it just came in on the line, eh? So uh, yeah, no, I must toot the right noises. So. It was a day overdue, but he got there in the end. Better late than never. It was definitely, uh, definitely a good stag, oh, well, though. It's a good start to the trip. First morning. First and, morning, uh, it yeah. Gives us a benchmark to beat. So. First morning of four days, so. We've got a wee bit more walking to get to the main camp, so. Yeah, we've got a, we got a bit of a hike. We. Oh well. We've dragged him down to a slight. 
flat bench, I think that would be an exaggeration. It's um, it's, it's not flat. Not just not vertical. Just trees are holding him up. Um, so snap a few photos, and um, but yeah, it's um, the shot was absolutely perfect. There's nothing to complain about there. Um, when we gut him, we have a look, but I'd imagine it got both lungs. Even looking at where it is, and in reality, I think he was dead within 15, 20 seconds of the arrow um, going. So. Like I say, we made ourselves a little bit nervous, but um, that is what bow hunting is so exciting. Roller coaster. Yeah, you literally go from down here to up here. So yeah, we'll snap a few photos, and there's a few roaring in the distance. So we'll go back, back to camp, drop them off, and uh, see what we can do this afternoon. So nah, under some photos, I think. A bigger body than your one last week. <laughs> Just a little bit. What are you trying to say? Solid animal. It's an old animal. Yeah, mate. Very old, low coronets. So the envision finally got to eat. So this is Ian's uh, dragged his bow out and brand spanker. Kudu contour. Another one, eh? Another one for the contour. It's ticking them up.